Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Just got back from the forge. Um, thanks, Andrew, for letting me come over. Had a very productive day. First forging effort for the new year. Um, yeah, I tried not to do too much forging during um, December because it's too bloody hot. But anyway, yeah, still reasonably hot at the moment, but um, got a bit done. Knocked out that, that's a mouse. But, yeah, not too bad for my first effort. Made out of a round file, wheelchair file. It's a bit hard to use because the tail is supposed to be a lot longer and drawn out and then curls over the top and going over to the top here. So yeah. Lessons learned. I'm going to make another one. I really like this. Turned out it turned out really nice. It um, it, it it's it's a nice forging. Got the eyes both sides. Got my own mark there. Couldn't fit my other stamp on it, but yeah, turned out really well. Quite a thick strike face, as you can see. I used a big big round file to do it. Sparks really well. The problem is it's hard to use because you can't really hold on to a bloody thing. So you've got to sort of hold on to it down here and then lay your finger along there and, and then spark. So it's not the most easiest of strikers. As I said, it sparks well when you can hold on to it, but without getting your fingers in the way. So yeah, I can understand why the tail's supposed to be a lot longer and drawn out and then curling over because you're supposed to hold on to the tail here and then there. It actually looks like a crocodile more than anything else. My wife said, oh, that, that's a crocodile, it's not a mouse. Anyway, I've got the rest of the file, the round file to do. So I might make another one. I'm going to draw the tail out a lot longer and um, curl it up and make another one. Prototypes always for me um, just to find out how to, how to get it to work. But everything's in plain. It worked really well. Um, this was actually the time of the, of the file. So, yeah, it... Um, didn't work out very well as far as it goes. It looks good. It um nice thick dry face. Everything about it's good. It's just hard to use. You know, you can't really pinch it and then strike. You could, I suppose, use it as a drop sparker. But it's really hard on your stones. And you you're not really getting sparks off it that way, but anyway. That's one's for you, Jason. That's a dog tag striker. Sparks really well. On both sides. Got my Orion stamp on it. Hot drifted, uh, hot punched a hole through it and made out of an old file, rounded all the edges off. You can wear it as a dog tag. It looks a little bit square. It's a bit rough and ready, but that's just the, it's, it's hand forged. So I thoroughly quenched it. You can use spark on every, every side. Um, yeah. That's to replace those two that I buggered up from Mad Dog. Um, I bought two hammers down uh, a little while ago. It's an old Farrier's hammer, hammer, rounding hammer. Love this. This is a beautiful old hammer. Um, yeah, got to use it today. I cleaned the faces up. Had some mushrooming, so I cleaned that up. Um, yeah, beautiful hammer. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, this is going to be my favourite forging hammer, I think. Um, yeah, just an old, nice old hammer. Anyway, yeah, I was going to put a new handle on it because it's um, 
I like a, lo a little bit longer handle and that, but the hammer's s s such a nice hammer. The handle's so nice at the moment. I'm just going to wear this one out and then um, I'll rehang it, hang it later on. I've got a cobbler hammer, a cobbler's hammer, um, number two cobbler's hammer. These are not just for banging um, shoes together. Um, Andrew's got a whole range of cobbler's hammers and I had long admired his number two and I'd wanted one for a while. I found one for a good price and I bought it and I am so glad I did. This is a fantastic hammer for forging. So I've got those two there. Yeah, let's get some members with these. So now that I've got that, I'm going to send your package back to you, Jason. Um, I've got everything that I wanted to do for you. So we're all set to go. Landing all over it. It's obviously working. So that's it. it. Should work all right. You can wear it as a dog tag, but they're just the standard dog tag. Nice thick strike face. Got my O mark, uh, my new stamp on it. And for the mouse, just a proof of concept. Here we go. If I don't burn myself, obviously works. But as I said, I'd learned some things from it. I'm going to um, use the old file that I've got, the rest of it, rest of it, make the um, make the tail a lot longer, and I reckon. My next one will be a lot better. Anyway, that's what I got done at the forge today. Also have a four and a half kilo sledgehammer that I'm making into a double diagonal peen hammer. So I am in the process of doing that at the moment. We cut some, cut the face, some of the face off it to lessen the weight because it's a sledgehammer. It's too heavy. Um, four and a half kilos is way too heavy to swing. Um, that cut a kilo off it. Um, by the time I grind it off, I think I'll get another kilo off it. So that'll bring it back to two and a half kilos. And hopefully a five pound hammer should be reasonably enough to swing in one hand for um, moving metal. But um, we got the faces cut off it and I'll do grinding next session. So yeah. Anyway, which will be in a couple of weeks' time. Anyway, thanks for watching.